Hello to all God children. I am the Mother Flowers, one of the oldest mothers at House of Faith Church. Today, I'm going to be talking about Black history, my history. Okay. First, we have Harriet Tubman freed 300 slaves, I tell you. Then, we have Malcolm X. He was a black activist who fought against white aggression, and he was the one, one of the ones. That's why we have the chance to vote now, because of Malcolm X and many others. So next time, remember, when you go out to vote, go out to vote, y'all, when you have the chance to just take the chance. And go out and vote. Okay. Next. We have Dr. Martin Luther King. He fought against segregation and equal rights. For us to just be by each other's side. Don't matter your color. Then. We have Mary Jackson. She was one of the first black women. To work at NASA. But let me tell you. She was a mathematician. She was the aerospace engineer. In the first. Next we have Maya Angelou. She was a black poet. Who wrote many, many. Beautiful and encouraging and inspiring poets. That still are very valid. To this day, a very irrelevant to this day, everybody know. Then, let me tell you about Sarah Boone. She created the first iron board for you to just be able to get up in the morning, iron your clothes for Sunday morning and show up to church. But let me tell you, the next time you get around your family, just, just, just know. That y'all, all of y'all have black history in y'all blood. And remember, when y'all go to the cookout, remember that somebody in your family did fought for you to be there to this day. That died for you to be there to this day. Not to mention the genealogy, the genealogy that's in your blood. With all the black history that you have in many more. That's meant to come. That's going to come. And we're going to keep living it up. I'm telling you. We're going to keep living it up. But remember. To all your ancestors that was working in that cotton field. Where it was hot. They were sweating. I'm telling y'all. Remember. And just thank them. Because they have prayed for you. They have. Just made your life greater to this day because you did not have to work long, get hard, and with child labor. You don't have to do that. You didn't have to do that. You could just wake up and live every day regular and just like everybody else. I love you. The Lord loves you. Y'all my children. Y'all the Lord's children. I just want y'all to be safe. Vote when it's time to vote. And just think about it, y'all. Think about the words I'm saying today. I love y'all. Happy Black History Month. And have a great day. Mother Flowers. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Hey, Granddaddy. Oh. Let me call you back. My granddaddy's here. Hey, Granddaddy. How you doing, Granddaddy? Pretty good. Um, it's about the black people and the uh, white people back in the day. Oh, okay. So now, back in the day, us black people, we couldn't go on the same bus. We couldn't go to the same schools. And we couldn't drink from the same water fountains. Wow, Granddaddy. I know. So y'all had to sit in the back of the bus? Yes. How did that make you feel? Even though... It was horrible. We still fought through it. Mm -hmm. And we kept the faith. 
prayed and God saw us through. That's so good, Granddaddy. So what? Granddaddy, <laughs> you're supposed to be telling a story. Like, what story? About back in the day, remember? Oh, yeah. You were telling us how y'all, you know, kept the faith. You prayed, y'all, you know. And God saw us through. Yeah. Now we hold it on to these scriptures. We've been man doing for night, but joy comes in the morning. He might not come when you want him to, but he's always on time. Thank you, Granddaddy. Thank you. Okay.